Well, they're looking for anything that could cause uh, cancer. Now, uh, no one drinks the groundwater here, as you mentioned, but uh, for example, on this soccer field, it's irrigated with groundwater, and one of the testing wells is right here. I think the testing is long overdue. That's a familiar refrain in Satellite Beach as an environmental scientist fills sample bottles from three wells. This one near Sea Park Elementary, another near Delora Middle School, and another near City Hall. Our neighbors have been saying, why has it taken so long? We're drinking bottled water, but we wonder why it hasn't been, you know, continued testing. Rumors have been swirling on the internet about an unusual number of cancer cases in the area. City leaders have not confirmed whether that's actually the case, but they're spending $9,000 to test the groundwater to try to put fears to rest. The city's drinking water comes from Lake Washington in Melbourne, miles away. But even though no one drinks the groundwater in Satellite Beach, people want it tested. Jane Mandeville is a gardening enthusiast. And we use the groundwater for, for uh, watering our plants. And so the plants are going to take it in uh, into the fruits and vegetables. So it's, it's something to consider. Meanwhile, the school district is testing drinking water at beachside schools. Looking forward to the test results, I take it? Yes. City leaders hope to have those test results available to share with the public at an August 5th meeting. We're live in Satellite Beach, Dan Billow, West 2 News.